Pepe, tu sei? Totò, all'oscuro sei? Mi scando, Totò. Ti scando di chi? Sto cazzo di Covid. Aggiungo la luce, è più meglio. Ok, uno si aggiunga. Già. Ca? No, già. Ca? No, già. Ca? Te lo dissi. Già. Ok, cae. Amonini. Welcome to Virtually the Best of Sicilia Canta, our response to the COVID crisis, where we highlight the seven years of Sicilia Canta in our community. We hope you like this video, our way of sharing the Sicilian experience with you, where we give you a little bit of everything Sicilian. The funny thing about Sicilia Canta is that it's not just an event. It's mostly about the Sicilian people and the Sicilian experience throughout the world. And we can't forget the beautiful and unique Sicilian language. You know, I, I demonstrated my uh, ignorance or lack of knowledge about what the Italian language was, uh, but I also learned that Sicilian wasn't the language, the Italian language spoken poorly. It was a beautiful language unto itself. Sicilian culture is imbued and infused with the culture of many parts of the world. As we all know, uh, Sicily has historically been a crossroads, it still is today, and many diverse and vast cultures and races have come through that place and left a little bit of themselves on the island. You know, I, I have to say, uh, Sam Chino and Joe Bayardo and, and Festa Italia had the, uh, had the vision to uh, include all those that didn't have their roots in Rakamuto. Why I got involved with all this is my wife Clara is Sicilian. I mean, I'm from Abruzzo, so here's a, an Abruzzese guy in a Sicilian folklore group. I, I get that question a lot. And uh, Canta Sicilia was the perfect avenue for everyone to be uh, included in this kind of celebration. In 2012, I attended a documentary screening at the Art Gallery of Hamilton, which was about the Sicilian folklore artist Rosa Balestreri that was presented by Debra Virginella and Madre Films. I later met Debra to bring the film back to Hamilton along with the Sicilian Jazz Project. I was so inspired and excited by this project that it inspired me to write my first Sicilian poem, A Voce di Rosa Mi Sunnavo. I was the Fest Italia president at the time and Joe came to see me all excited. We have to do something Sicilian for the festival, he was saying. It was as if, uh, as if he woke a sleeping giant in this community, and that giant was Sicilia Canta. I wish we could be together like we were in 2012 when Madre Films brought La Voce di Rosa, a film by Nello Correale, to Canada, to uh, Toronto and Chicago, and luckily Hamilton, my hometown. And we brought it along with the Sicilian Jazz Project, an incredible group of musicians who keep alive the music of Sicily. And they performed uh, many of the songs of Rosa Balistreri. Rosa was not only an icon of Sicily, Italy, for women, but an artist that is inspirational uh, universally. 
the film captivated Benedetta Marassi and I, and we wanted to organize something special with it. And uh, my past relationship with Fest Italia brought me to contact uh, Joe Bayardo, and I got the chance to meet Sam Chino, and we brought it to the first, what would then be Sicilia Canta. So I'm very, very, very proud and happy to have been part of this. Um, when we did uh, Sicilia Canta, we were there because of the, the film La Voce di Rosa, which was about uh, Rosa Balistrieri, and we were asked to play some of her, her music. We ended up recording uh, one of her songs, uh, I Pirati uh, Palermo, on the second album that we did, which is called Murica. And, and that song, it's a, it's a powerful song. It's very emotional. It's about, uh, ostensibly, it's about pirates coming to Palermo and all the terrible things they do, but really, it's a song about the mafia. Rosa was very, uh, very, uh, very anti mafia person. And when you look at the lyrics from that perspective, you see that she's talking about the, the brutality of, 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 of the mafia uh, in Palermo. Uh, she was born into uh, a society that was still largely in the grips of a feudal system. Um, it was one of violence, especially uh, towards women. Uh, her life was marked by violence and she fled at 24 to go to Tuscany. And it was there um, by sheer talent a bit of luck that she was embraced by a group of liberal intellectuals group and they embraced her and um, made sure that her music was listened to. Rosa was born into a Sicily in 1927 that we are hard pressed to recognize when we go there to eat granita, cannoli and cassata in the summers and you know, revel in the sensual beauty of this incredible island that I've been lucky enough to visit several times and have fallen in love with. Butita called her the soprano of the South, giving credibility to a woman who was singing in dialect of raw, emotional, violent, and soulful, soulful folkloric songs with her guitar and her raw, coarse voice. And her songs depict a Sicily that Shasha describes as at once tender, sweet, violent, dramatic, dark, and full of ambiguities. La voce di Rosa, il suo canto sozzato, drammatico, angosciato, pareva uscisse dalla terrazza della Sicilia. E così mi, mi, mi sono rimasta incinta del primo bambino. La sera era ubriaco. Fu, io che nanzi. Io che nanzi. E tu mi aggradì, io mi desse legnato, mi feci cadere da sopra. Lei tirava in terra, stava morendo, mi, mi, avevo una, una gran morragia. E mi sento nesce, lo faccio dire, proprio ripeto. Ma dopo un'ora pure io. Ma la tragedia della mia famiglia si completava. Quando lo padre mio sentendo la notizia, non resistivo allo grande dolore. E si imbeccava, povero padre mio. Maledetto cupici, oh santo vito, tingia di fora e di perro all'anna. Sabato sera Ma pace era stanco Tutto il giorno ah, io travagliato non voglio fare niente Mamma ti cucinava E mamma ti si ingazzava Tutta settimana in da sta casa voglio uscire fuori Tu vedi i genti And 
that I was the first performer, my group was the first performer for Sushi Kanta in 2013. And uh, the Sicilian Jazz Project uh, is a, a group that changes in size. Sometimes we're as small as a trio. I think we were, from what I recall, we were a trio that night at uh, Sicilian Jazz Project with Dominic and Kuso on vocals and, and my brother Roberto on bass, but we might even be here, I can't remember. <laughs> and that's kind of the, the beautiful thing it, with, with um, Sicilian music. It's got so many influences in it already that it's very easy in the present world where you know we live in, in a multicultural society to kind of uh, reference you know the sort of the multiculturalism that exists within the Sicilian music where you hear the Arabic influence uh, and kind of play that up a little bit more and make it contemporary. How did I become aware of Sicilia Canta? Um, that's like asking me, how did I become aware of my own culture? It, it always existed. The question for me was, when was I going to participate? And it was always with me. And when I was asked to perform in it, I was absolutely delighted. And I would have engaged in any way, but performing was an honor. Well, the idea of Sicilian blues I'll deal with first. And that is, we are the South of Italy. And when you when you uh, sing in Sicilian, it's like singing in the uh, in the dialect of the Mississippi Delta. Only it has that Greco-Latin uh, Arabic effect. As for the participants, well, my daughter was a natural. Uh, she doesn't live here. She lives in Kingston, uh, but she's a natural because she's well versed in the songs that I know, and I versed in her songs. As for the band, uh, Ron Weiss was the violin player. And I've been working with Ron in theater for uh, now it's 30 years. And Venecio de Salvo uh, worked for uh, CMHA. That's how I met him. But when I met him on that premise, he told me he played the guitar and we've been as close as brothers ever since and playing music together ever since. And that was about 20 years ago. So this is a natural quartet. So it was Ron Weiss, Venecio de Salvo, my daughter, Selena Cirelli, and moi. The Sicilia Canta in Hamilton, first of all, as a songwriter who's always looking for titles, what a fabulous title, Sicilia Canta. What a, what a wonderful metaphor, because Sicilia does sing, and, and, and everybody is leveled off by the fact that we are partying together and we're engaging in a, in a cultural event. And it, it's, it's lasted seven years, and hopefully it will last 70 years. We like to party in Sicilia Canta as the ultimate party, and the mix of people in Sicilia Canta. You've got the construction workers, and the doctors, and the lawyers, and etc. Uh, because as we drift further away from our heritage, we need Sicilia Canta to remind us of who we are. success of the first two years with the Sicilian Jazz Project and Charlie Chiarelli, the demand for tickets pushed Sicilia Canta into the much larger Grand Hall of Leuna Station in 2015. This was also the year that we renewed the twinning relationship between two communities, 
Rakamuto, Sicily, and Hamilton. It was the first time in many, many years that we hosted dignitaries from Sicily, such as Mayor Sindico Emilio Massana and Rakamutese Councillor Giuseppe Gualiano. And they were accompanied by accomplished Sicilian musicians Leonardo Alimo de Loro, who could brilliantly play two flutes at the same time, and Pietro Ciccolone, an accomplished accordion player. To welcome the mayor and the Sicilian delegation, Sam came up with this idea to reunite the Sicilian folklore group, a group that had long been disbanded for at least 20 years. I received a call, I think Sam reached out to myself and to Mary Martorelli, say, would, you, would it be possible to reunite the group because we're doing a Sicilia Canta and he explained what was going on. And what we thought was only going to be five or six people reunion, we were close to 18 people. I, I, was, I was so excited and uh, we were able to put on that performance for you the first year as people were coming in. And what was celebrated that evening at Sicilia Canta, together with current mayor Fred Eisenberger and a multitude of other past mayors, including the revered Mayor Bob Morrow, was the revisiting of a very emotional experience that happened over 30 years ago. And that was a, a satellite communication pre-internet uniting two communities, Rakamuto and Hamilton. It was a significant achievement on behalf of the city of Hamilton, uh, on behalf of the citizens of the community that traced the roots back to our city of Rakamuto. There was a lot of kind of pushback at the city uh, in that, you know, why are we twinning with such a you know, small town in Sicily uh, compared to the other cities that we were twinned with, like Fukuyama, Banchan, and Mangalore, and Monterey, Mexico, and so on, where they had uh, metropolis. Uh, uh, and here we were, twinning with a city of 8,000, 9,000. You know, what kind of value would you would add uh, to it? Uh, however, uh, the city did uh, pass a resolution, and uh, we did become twin with the city of Rockham. Uh, it was about 92, 93, that uh, there was uh, discussions as to what could be done with the cities that were twin. And I came up with the idea of having a, an experience where the people in Rakamuto and people in Hamilton could talk to each other live. Uh, and at that time, satellite was just being launched. And uh, thanks to, to the likes of uh, uh, Frankton artists at CHTV and Dominic uh, Alfieri, we were able to uh, embark on, on this extravagant uh, uh, initiative first of its kind in, in the world. Yeah, uh, free internet, free Skype, free all that, all that stuff. Rakamuto uh, had their festival at that time, and they had over 10,000 people, you can believe it, you know, 10,000 people lined up in the square and, and elsewhere, and, and the roadways and so on, and they had these big screens up, 
in Bakamut. And, and uh, because of the time difference of six hours, uh, we decided to do our part uh, and invite our citizens to Tops Coliseum. And we had, again, the big screen and so on. So it was, it was moving in a very emotional night uh, for everybody. It wasn't, there wasn't a dry eye in the place. So we had, we had folks that had never seen their brothers and sisters in years. We're talking, you know, anywhere from 30, 40, 50 years. And uh, to be able to, to have them speak to their, to their loved ones uh, live was incredible. Tu sicuramente avrai qualche parente lì, no? Io sono sicura che è la sorella con la quale la signora Giovanna non si vede da 18 anni, pensate un po', erano sorelle in tutto, erano addirittura 14 figli, sono rimaste soltanto in due, la signora Giovanna e la signora Concetta. Qui è Kinder, ma tu, eh? Saluti, te. Sposati in agro, eccola, sono contentissimi. Ecco, di fatto, sorella! Io ti voglio bene, cognato! Vieni che siamo qua in quattate! Facci il disanulato, se non viene l'anciano, ti spacco la testa! Oh! Ho capito no! Cara vincere, tu sei la vincere urbano, se non viene l'anciano, ti spacco la testa! Saluto a tutti, nipoti, pronipoti! Uh, I could not have done this without the major support of uh, people like Vince Agro and especially Bob Morrow. He was uh, gung-ho on, on doing anything he could for the citizens of Italian heritage who lived in our city, especially the Rocky Montesi. And uh, we were able to uh, kind of uh, resurrect that whole idea of uh, Twinning and uh, Mayor uh, Eisenberger uh, certainly was for it and said it was fine. And uh, we were uh, happy to, to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the Twinning and basically to rekindle the relationships and the cultural relationships and, and so on. So it was exciting. <laughs> The Sicilian Folklore Group was the feature group in 2016, having made their initial performance the previous year, much to the amazement of hundreds in attendance. The group had a very long history in Hamilton prior to their 20-year hiatus. They were so popular back then that they even had an opportunity to go to Italy to perform. I remember shortly after being in the group, there was talk of us going to Italy. And I said, wow, going to Italy? This is, we're going to go to Sicily. We're going to play in this, at the Festa del Monte in Sicily. And actually it was Sam's dad, Angelo Chino, who was instrumental in taking us over there. I mean, he, he, he started the conversations with our colleagues over in Raccomuto. And next thing you know, we were on a plane. I remember too, there was people behind the scenes at the time, Mary Martorelli, who was our president, and also um, Lilo Puma, who um, was instrumental in organizing all the flights for us and making sure we all got there safely. And now, about 25 years later, those who were adult members back then are now seniors in the group. Those who were children are now the adults in the group and their children are now introduced to Sicilian folklore. Uh, folklore music tells stories, it talks about the hardships, it talks about the, the good things that have happened, the birth of children, marriages, um, and, and even death sometimes. So it's, it's, it tells the whole story of life 
and the memories of growing up in Sicily. Yeah, so here we are, we had had no practice, like we just got this group together and then you and Sam are asking us to be the feature performers. So we started planning these, you know, what are the songs going to be? And um, so again, it was a lot of work, but everybody cooperated. And what I remember the most is just getting up on that stage and hearing the sound coming out of three generations of, of, of people. Um, you know, we have five and six year olds in the group and we have you know, 86 year olds in the group. So three generations and the feeling, I mean, you get goosebumps. Um, you know what it's like when you go on stage and you get that, that feeling. Sicilian Folklore Group of Hamilton! As we said, we wanted to use this event to highlight the Sicilian language in every context. And Sam found a brilliant yet frustrating way to showcase the Sicilian language in the North American context. So growing up, one of my favorite comedy routines was the Abbott and Costello, Who's on First? And um, I knew it well as a child. Now as a middle-aged person, uh, I have fallen in love with it even more because of the superb performance by Sam Chino and Joe Bayardo. The, the imagination that it took to do it in Sicilian. Uh, and it was absolutely hilarious and extremely well done. Uh, it's a side-splitting performance and leaves everybody crying with laughter. <laughs> cool? No, cool's on. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my God, we, we've got to get these guys over to uh, St. Catharines and over to Buffalo and so on because this, this is extremely funny as heck. It, it, it really should travel the world uh, for those who speak Sicilian. Go! Go's on first! Non ne saccio io! Proprio non ne saccio! Go's on first! Go's on first! Non ne saccio! Non me ne frega! Go! Go! Go for Who's on first? Non esatto! Who? Who's on first? Come si chiama? Chi ne sa ci io? I don't know what I'm talking about! Who's on first? Uh. Hey, Pepe, come am, Pepe? <laughs> How are you? Hey, Toto, come am? Buono sogno, come sei tu? Eh, hey, mi facevo male la schiena, mi sciupiavo. Ti sciupiasti? Come ti sciupiasti? Sì, stavo su baseball, ma, ma cu, 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 well, you know, my father told me when I was a kid, right? Yeah? He said that baseball players have very funny names. Funny names? Yes, nicknames. Julia, for example, on the Sicilian baseball team they had Kuz on first, Komasikama's on second, and Nunes Hachu's on third. Okay, that's, uh, that's what I want to find out. The names on the Sicilian baseball team. What are the names? I'm telling you, Kuz on first, Komasikama's on second, and Nunes Hachu's on third. Tusa Komasikama. Tell me the names. I told you. Who's on first, Komasikama's on second, and Nunes Hachu's on third. 
Ok, diz-me em inglês, so I can understand. Capicho, que o melhor. Ok, who's on first, what's on second, and I don't know who's on third, Joe. You don't know, you said your father told you the names of the players. I told you, who's on first, como se chama's on second, Nunes Hachu's on third. Ok. Ok, Sam. Toto. Let me ask you another way. Cu che alo first base, alo primo basso. Yes. That fella playing first base. Cu. The guy on first. Cu. What are you asking me for? I'm not asking you, I'm telling you who's on first. I'm asking you who's on first. That's the man's name. Cu. Yes. Tu salo nomo de quindro alo primo basso. Yes. Como se chama? Cu. Quindro alo primo basso. Que suelo nomo? Cu. Yes. Pepe Achiri. Como se chama quem joga o primo basso? Oh, não! Como se chama é o segundo? Cu é o primo? Não, não sabe! Não sabe se você está em terceiro. Cu está em primeiro. Se você não sabe, como é que eu posso saber? Ok. Vamos try another way. Quando você pay the first baseman every month, cu se pilha e sorte. Ogni scuto l'ha guadagnato. He earned every penny of it. Cu? Yes. Cu se le pilha? E por que não? Sometimes his wife comes and gets it. Yes, la mulher. Cu. Yes. Well, that's what I'm trying to find out. Como se chama quinto lá primo basso? Oh no 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 no. Como se chama ele segundo? What's his name's on second base? I'm not asking you como se chama on second. I'm asking you como se chama on first. I told you who's on first. Okay, let's try the outfield. Does the Sicilian baseball team have an outfield? Yes, absolutely. The left fielder's name quinto a sinistro. Quem é isso aí? Eu pensava que eu ia perguntar. Bem, eu só pensei em te dizer. Alura, diga-me o que é o left field. Não, o que é o primeiro? Sai daí, infiel, sai daí. O left fielder's name, o nome do quinto do left field é a sinistra. Por quê? Porque isso. É porque isso está jogando no centro field. Ok. Você tem um pitcher no time. Quem é que tira a bola? Certo, há um pitcher, claro. Diga-me o nome do pitcher. 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 Lo catcher, quem do que engalha a bola? Como se chama? Lo catcher não se chama como se chama? Como se chama o second base? Não não sacho. Não não é sacho, é third. Oh, é mango e o mango e o não sacho. Vou saber o nome do lo catcher, so I can understand if Dumani is the pitcher. If Dumani has the ball and someone is running the home base, Dumani will throw it a cu. Oh. Não não lá é a cu, lá é a suso. A susu? Yes, domani la yeta susu. But in baseball there can't be a susu in a use. Et tu tunu piano, it's all one level. If susu is not there, a ku la yeta. Non la yeta ku, la yeta susu. Se susu non c'è, la yeta yusu. Allora. Yusu second string, Joe. Che facciamo? La yeta ma susu a yusu. That's right. Now. Ok. Fa finta che io sogno domani. When the guy... At the bat, bunts the ball. Me being a good pitcher, I want to throw the guy out of the primo basso. La pillo la palla e la attacco. That's the first thing you said right all day. Ah, la leva la attacca la palla. Ma cosa c'è che tu che parli io? Oh, che poi stupia da zia. Calmati. Remember now, I'm the pitcher. Domani la yetta la palla che entra a first base. Whoever that is, i drew pillo la palla. Ma chi in giù di l'altra squadra curi come uno cavallo allo sacco uno basso. Cu piglia la palla e la ietta come si chiama. Come si chiama la ietta? Non ne saccio, non ne saccio la ietta domani. Chi su si chiama? Troppo play. That's right. E meglio, se chi in giù di l'altra squadra curi e va a home play. Domani la ietta a palla a suso o a iusa. Dipende se suso è sciupiato o no. E se la ietta a palla a più lesto possibile e la manna fora. Yeah! Ora si gioca la baseball, Joe. Ora si gioca la baseball. E dopo, vieni in angelo che batte la palla con sto bastone. Con la forza che la manna palla al left field. Dicemi, what's the left fielder's name again? Perché? Perché, perché non mi frega più! What was that you said? Che diciste? I said I don't give a damn, non mi frega più! Oh, non mi frega più, that's the shortstop, Joe. It was great to be able to celebrate this milestone birthday with friends and relatives from Italy and American friends that were drawn to this event for the Shasha Project. 
The enthusiasm generated by the unveiling of the Shasha statue resulted in a sellout two months prior to the event, attracting over 600 people to Leona Station. Film producer Dale Hildebrand was there, along with film star and co-writer Charlie Chiarelli, to introduce their movie trailer in the award-winning film The Road to the Lemon Grove, which was well received by Canadian and international audiences. Film producer Mark Spano also came from North Carolina to introduce his highly acclaimed documentary, Sicily, Land of Love and Strife. And there were other guests and intellectuals that attended this event, such as Angelo Cunillo, genealogist and author from Buffalo, New York, Gaetano Cipolla, president of Arba Sicula from New York City, and guests from as far away as Illinois and Arizona and a delegation of about 12 to 13 people that came from Sicily. Leonardo Shasha was born in Bacamuto in 1921. He was initially a teacher. In fact, I've met many people that were his students. From there, he developed a proficiency in writing, creative writing, and uh, he wrote both fiction and nonfiction. The fiction uh, tended to be about um, criminal investigation, both from a police perspective and a legal perspective. He did write one book, um, Le Parrocchie di Regalpetra, basically about the townspeople in a fictional town called Regalpetra, which is really Racalmuto. His nonfiction uh, was uh, devoted mostly um, to political commentary. Then later in life, he became a member of parliament. In 2016, a group of Hamiltonians uh, went to Racalmuto with Mayor Eisenberger as a delegation. And during that trip, uh, Gabe Macluso and I had the privilege of meeting a sculptor, Giuseppe Agnello. Uh, Giuseppe Agnello had um, sculpted a famous statue that sits in the piazza of Racalmuto. And in this brief encounter with him, Gabe and I asked him whether he would consider ever making another one. And to our amazement, he said yes, and that's how this project was born. In fact, <clears throat> originally we considered a bust. Uh, upon further reflection amongst our committee and then in speaking with the sculptor, we realized that Shasha was a man of the people, a man of the town, a man of the street, and to really represent him in the true way that he was, an intelligent person, but who was a man of the people, we had to show him in his full, his full embodiment. Um, but also, because Hamilton and Raquel Muto are twinned, uh, we wanted to have an exact twin of the statue that we have in Raquel Muto here in Hamilton. And right here, just a few steps from where we're standing, uh, we had a, an unveiling uh, where we had 13 people come from Raquel Muto. And most of them were members of the city council of that city, uh, together with spouses and, and other friends and, and people. Uh, we had gathered here approximately 600 people. Uh, it was a beautiful gala. Uh, one I'll always remember. Uh, and the thing that struck me about that was that we had <clears throat> people from our twin city of Racalmuto here celebrating with people of Hamilton and it was as if these people um, were born and lived in the same place. There was no differentiation between the visitors and the hosts and the hosts and the, and the visitors. And um, to me that particular Sicilia Canta uh, was the top of the mountain, you know, basically. Uh, I, I don't know how Joe and Sam will be able to replicate that. I know I have faith that they will be able to, but that was quite an achievement on their part. They had about 600 people assembled in the room, entertainment, uh, education, culture. There was a lot of love and warmth in the room, and I'll always remember it. This year, we would like to commemorate Canada's 150th birthday and what it means to friends and family who traveled from the old country to make Canada their home. In the 1960s, there were over 10,000 Sicilians living in and around James Street North. They were from the town of Racamuto. They found work in manual labor jobs on the railroad, in construction, in the cotton mill, and you were very fortunate if you worked at Stelco or Tefasco. We are proud to be Italo-Canadian with Sicilian ancestry.
o tu giorna di festa e ora si ne vanno che non è più Natale e manco Capodanno a ritorno non da nevi una cianeglia oscuro un c'è un patrone strani e c'è un travaglio duro Uni sono chiamati per ingiuria terroni e che all'uomini della Sicilia non siamo agenti buoni a ritorno un treno con soli un treno senza soli e ritornano con cuori che ci chiangi addio bezza Sicilia o terra mia d'arangi d'arangi e di canzoni o latti mi lodasti ma pani un minidone Sicily was officially a twin with the city of Hamilton. Hamilton and Rocamoto continue to share a special bond. Today, there are over 30,000 Sicilians living in Hamilton. We have a great debt to the land which gave birth to our parents as they stressed to us that education and hard work would be the key to our success. Today, you can find Canadians of Italian Sicilian descent at all levels of law, politics, medicine, education, and of course, the arts. grateful for this country we call home and native land which welcomed our parents and grandparents with open arms. We are people of goodwill, sincerity, generosity, and of tolerance, good humor, and respect. God keep our land glorious and free. O Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Rita, in her performance that evening, showed us um, her Italian heritage. Most of us know Rita as uh, the Queen of uh, Canadian uh, Blues, uh, but this particular evening was special uh, because we saw Rita pay homage to her mother, uh, her Roman roots, her mother being Roman, uh, and generally her, uh, her Sicilian culture. Uh, Rita has told me many times in the last few years that she, um, in, the, in the last while of her life, has come to appreciate and, and become connected to her Italian culture. And that was clearly on display that evening, her love and passion for her family and for her ancestry uh, was there for all of us to love and, and behold. Hello everyone, I'm Rita Shirelli. Two years ago, I was asked to perform at Sicilia Canta by my good friends, Pepe, Toto, and Calogero, also known as Sam Chino, Joe Bayardo, and Charles Griminisi. Sicilia Canta is an evening celebrating everything Sicilian from music to humor and food. It's a warm and wonderful night. Uh, it was a good opportunity for me to delve into my Sicilian roots. My father was Raquel Mutese. And so for the occasion, I learned a few Sicilian tunes, which I had never sang before. I remember I started the evening with Viti Una Cozza. I think I started 
I started the set with that tune because it was one of my father's favorite and a very old Sicilian tune and very close in many ways to the blues, which I'm known for. In fact, it's remarkable how close Sicilian folk music is to the blues. Uh, the evening was exceptional. Uh, it was great, great fun. And also, I think I should mention that like you don't have to be Sicilian to enjoy Sicilia Canta. It's a great evening for everyone. Delve into this culture that's hand in hand with our life here in Hamilton and with the history here in Hamilton. So um, I hope to be invited again. Sicilia Canta, I hope to see you next year. A great event. Thank you for having me. What an incredible performance by Rita Shirelli. All we asked that evening was that she perform three Sicilian songs, and boy did she ever exceed our expectations, distracting the attention away from what was to have been our main attraction, the Sicilian Carreto. And not surprisingly, the theme for this 2018 event was I Canzoni dello Carreto, the songs of the Carreto as this important work of art was getting ready to make its way to Hamilton. But due to transportation delays, we weren't able to showcase it at Sicilia Canda until the following year. In the summer of 2016, uh, Mayor Fred Eisenberger and a group of people from Hamilton went to Racalmoto, and we had a number of events there. One of those events was a dinner, uh, and at that dinner, uh, Jack Marchese, who was a well-known pharmacist uh, from Hamilton, um, somewhat out of the blue, uh, said, um, I would like to commission a carretto and donate it to the people of Hamilton. So when one thinks of Sicily, whether you, you are Sicilian or whether you live around the world, and you think of the top three images that come to mind, I think the carretto is one of those. The reason why it's particularly important as an icon is because um, Sicily being an isolated island, and not having um, transportation infrastructure like the rest of the country. Um, the Carreto was an important part of transportation up to about 100 years ago. Since then, it's become a work of art that tells the story of Sicilian history. In June of 2019, uh, the Art Gallery of Hamilton, uh, led by Shelley Falconer, was kind enough to allow us to display the Carreto there. Um, it was very important because when Jack Marchese originally conceptualized this project, his vision was that it would be displayed in a prominent place where Hamiltonians could go and see it, similar to the prominent place that it is right now here in City Hall. What excited me the most about the Carreto project, uh, I would say, is that it became a touchstone for not only people on the committee, uh, but our families, our friends, and has enlivened people's interest in culture, again, a particular Sicilian culture. And it's our hope on our committee that this object will, for 
decades and centuries to come, continue to be a touchstone for generations that come so that they can look at this, wonder what it's about, wonder where it came from, and uh, perhaps look into their culture and study it and learn it more and better. In 2019, we hosted an incredible duo, two brothers, Giuseppe and Maurizio Calandra, who came directly from Alcamo, Sicily, performing as Calandra e Calandra. They are incredible entertainers, and the anticipation of their performance filled the already packed room of well over 500 people. But much to the surprise of everyone, including ourselves, what also filled the room that evening, prior to the musical performance, was six minutes of deafening silence, generated by a somber yet powerful video, U Scarpado Senzu Scarpe. We wanted to highlight the Sicilian experience, tradition of storytelling in song, called Canda Storia. This story is about the internment of Francesco Zaffiro of Hamilton, and was typical of the unjust incarceration of about 600 Italian Canadians, 74 who were from Hamilton, that were separated from their families for no reason other than being Italian. Du sordena camisa arrivaru qua speranza di la strada d'oro promessa quattro figli e na mulieri u scarpara cum ingiani a fare u so mistieri pi puti rivuscari lupani ora tutti vi lo dico na famiglia rovinata la sapiri di stu fatto Como ficiru quista sbagliata, danna vota lu pigliaru, lu pigliaru lu scarparu, e lu misirum galera, cu tutti so paesanu. Si la sao martedru, e li chiovanda lu tavlu. La putia la chiuieru, cu li luce aperti la saru. Arrivanu lu so figliu, Pici dari nava sata, ma so patri nun ginera, e la porta tutta scassata, lo portara peda wawa, cu so frati di l'Italia. Lu trattaru comungani, giusu e mortu di fami. Pitri anni lu lassaru, cu lu cori asciazzatu. A pinzari li so figli e a mulieri sciapazzata. Chi facci ustu scarparu, calumi si runga lera. Ci pariva nughera fascista e nemico di lo statu. Dissi comu voli Dio, 
Ogni giorno ci pregava, ci pregava pilamenti e famiglia che supportava. Dopo la guerra lo tornaro, lo scarparo a sua famiglia. Pitruvari li so figli, cudu sordena camisa. Unni c'era la putia, ora c'è una fruttaria. A so vita con annato, picchi era taliano. E pitandi anni dopo, stucondo mango una parola, lo scarparo s'affrontava e il governo su scordava. Chi sta storia do scarparo? Lo scarparo senza scarpi, lo sapete cucci corpa, la giustizia ancora in affari. Chi sta storia do scarparo, lo scarparo senza scarpi. Lo sapete cucci corpa, la giustizia ancora in affari. With respect to our feature performers that evening, this came about by Cecilia Canta being noticed in the motherland, in Sicily, and Calanda and Calanda wanted to come to Canada and be part of our celebration. We were taken by surprise by these very popular and talented performers who have a huge following in Italy with their prolific production of music videos and hit songs that are popularizing Sicilian folklore music. Siamo insieme. Eh, per dirvi e per ringraziare tutto il comitato di eh, Sicilia Canta, salutiamo tutte le persone che abbiamo conosciuto, che abbiamo avuto il piacere di stringergli la mano, di scambiare due chiacchiere, di parlare eh, la nostra lingua. E eh, la cosa importante è che ci siamo sentiti a casa. Ci avete fatto sentire a casa, ci, ci avete fatto sentire parte delle vostre, delle vostre famiglie. Eh, ripeto, un abbraccio eh, virtuale ma caloroso vi giunge dalla vostra, dalla nostra terra. Sicilia, dalla nostra terra. Un saluto a tutta l'organizzazione di Sicilia Canta, ma è doveroso, non ce ne voglia nessuno, è doveroso un fare. saluto particolare. Si può dire un saluto particolare? Si può dire, si si può dire. dire. va a, a Sam e a Joe, Joe e alle loro splendide famiglie per tutto quello che hanno fatto per, per noi, noi e per come ci hanno fatto trascorrere questi bellissimi momenti una, una cosa è certa, in Canada. Ragazzi, non vi dimenticheremo mai. Noi parliamo spesso, spesso, spesso di voi. Esper Perché? Esperienza che abbiamo nel nostro cuore, nella nostra mente. Ciao! Please welcome Calandra e Calandra! Allora, cominciamo con la nostra prima canzone che si chiama Lo Sciccarello. saporito a mia mia l'ammazzaro povero scecco mio chi per davvero 
duce via Pariano grandi nuri Si caretto di come cori Come io dai ascoltare Si caretto di come cori Come io dai ascoltare E quando cantava facia Facia E quando cantava facia Facia e quando cantava facia, facia, e quando cantava facia, portandolo a divirare, di regno in terra bagnato, giù musso zuccarato, di in terra in cielo spincia, chi per lo musso avia, su tanto capizzone, Caretto di lume cori, campa tu e cumori mori, sciccaretto di lume cori, campa tu e cumori mori. E quando cantava facia, facia, e quando cantava facia, facia, e quando cantava facia, facia, e quando cantava facia. Quando lo caricava, ci sacchi di roba di mia, bullo ci so che angia, manta la strada non più. Chi per di occhia via, variano di soli, sciccaretto di nome cori, come io dai ascoltari, sciccaretto di nome cori. E quando cantava facia, facia, e quando cantava facia, facia, e quando cantava facia, quando si avvicinava la scecca d'agnatina, da cura sopra fina, muovia di ca e di da. Fatta di sito e oro, sciccaretto di nome e cori, campa tu e cumori mori, sciccaretto di nome e cori, campa tu e cumori mori. E quando cantava facia, facia, e quando cantava facia, facia, e quando cantava facia, facia. E quando cantava facia, ehi! E quando cantava facia, facia! E quando cantava facia, facia! E quando cantava facia, facia! E quando cantava facia! Come facia? Boh! Totò, passa o sale? O renale? O sale? Yes! Charlie was good. Toto, come a fare in Ajan? E chi mi sa ci io? Sto monna testa pozzone. Testa pozzone? A mango sapi Dio. Udilo risi, cadai alla sari, meglio la morte, e no che sto dolori. Ai 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 ai. Moro, 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 sciato di lume e cori, l'amore mio sei tu, ai 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 ai. Moro, 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 sciato di lume e cori, l'amore mio sei tu. Atiani cuzza, lucori scricchia, a picca picca picca, ai 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 ai, moro 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 moro, sciato di lume e cori, l'amore mio sei tu.
Pacifiusa Chi sta ascoltando a mia Paci facemo Ogni caretta mia Sciato di l'arma mia L'amore mio sei tu L'amore mio sei tu Grazie, Grazie. Valesseri.